morning, church. Good morning, church. I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. The Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silence before him. In the house of Let us pray for those who are absent. Heavenly Father, watch over those who we love who are absent from us today. Keep them in good health, protect them from all danger, and when we are together again, help us to make their turn a happy one. In the name of our Lord Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Tell us your name and how old you are turning. My name is Kyan and I'm turning eight on Tuesday. My name is Alice and I'm turning ten. <laughs> My name is Raylan and I'm turning ten. <laughs> Let us pray. O oh God our Father, bless your children as their years increase. In their seeking, guide them. In their striving, sustain them. In danger and temptation, guard them. Give them a thankful heart and grant that they may find their freedom in doing their will. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, amen. amen. Let us sing. Happy birthday. would like to present the women.
Our story begins in a special little village where special little wooden people, people called Wemmicks live and work. The Wemmicks were each specially carved by a woodmaker named Eli. Eli loved his Wemmicks and watched them from his workshop on top of a hill overlooking the little Wemmick village. The Wemmicks were all made by the same woodmaker, Eli. They all lived in the same village, but each little Wemmick was, in, was indeed special. Some of them had cool hats to wear. And some of them wore colorful gloves. Some of them had long braids. And some of them had really long beards. Now all day and every day, the Wemmicks did the same thing over and over. They each gave each other two different kinds of stickers. A beautiful golden star sticker to some Wemmicks and a dull boring gray dot sticker to others. You see, Wemmicks that had perfect pink coats and smooth wood got beautiful golden star stickers. Wemmicks with rough wood and, or chipped paint got sad boring gray dot stickers. The talent Wemmicks got star stickers too. If you were strong, you would get a star. If you knew a big word, you would get a star. If you could sing, you would get a star. And if you jump high, you would get a star. Some Wemmicks had stars all over them, which made them feel great. They proudly walked up and down the street parading their star stickers, but others were not so lucky. And received all dots. Poor Punchinello had so many dots that he didn't even want to be outside. He was afraid that he would get even more dots. In fact, Punchinello had so many gray dots that the, that the other women thought it would be fun to give him dots for no real reason at all. Too short, give her a dot. She's not funny, give her a dot. She can't sing, give her a dot. She doesn't have colorful gloves. Gloves, give her a dot. She can't jump high, give her a dot. She is just too sad, she deserves a dot. After a while, Punchinello started to believe them. I guess I'm not a very good Wemmick. Suddenly, three Mimics, unlike any of the other, came walking down the road and sat next to Punchinello. Their names were Lucia, Maria, and Gio. They were totally different because they had no stars and no dot stickers on them. People had tried to give them stickers all the time, but for some reason, the stickers didn't stick to them. Hey there, my name's Lucia. My name's Maria. My name's Gio. Why are you sitting here looking so sad? I'm tired of getting great, boring gray dot stickers all the time. I don't want anyone's marks on me, so how in the world do you three have zero stickers? 
easy. Every day we go to see the woodmaker, Eli. We visit him in his workshop. Wait, what? How does that make the stickers not stick? I don't understand. Why don't you go find out for yourself? Just go up the hill and visit him in the shop. He would love to see you. He's always glad when he gets a chance to visit with those he created. It also gives you the opportunity to ask questions. Bye, see you later. Wait, Willie really wants to see me? Mm -hmm. This whole sticker thing just isn't right. I think I'll go see Eli. Punchinella made the long journey up to Eli's workshop. Punchinella was afraid. She almost turned around to leave, but then she heard his, her name. Punchinella, how good to see you. Coming in and spend some time with me. You know my name? Of course I do. I made you in this very workshop. Now, Punchinella, it's, it looks like you have been given a lot of dots by the other women. I don't know, Eli. I didn't mean to do anything wrong. I've tried to be a good woman, but I guess it's just not good enough for the others. You don't have to defend yourself to me. I don't care what the other women think. You don't? No, and you shouldn't either. They're mixed just like you. Who are they to give stars or dots? What they think does not matter. Punchinella, all that matters is what I think, and I think every mimic is special. Me? Special? Ha! I don't have a cool hat or colorful gloves or no big words or have perfect paint. Why do I matter to you? Because I created you. That's why you matter to me. Every day I've been hoping you would come to see me. I came today because I met three women who didn't have any stickers at all. Why didn't the stickers stick to them? The stickers don't stick to them because they have decided what I think is more important than what the women. I don't understand. Don't you know, the stickers only stick if you let them. Now you have a lot of stickers on you and it'll take time for them to fall out. So for now, come to the visit with me every day. Remember this, Punchinella, I created you, and I did not make mistakes. Punchinella sat on the ground outside of the woodmaker's shop, thinking about his con her conversation with Eli. It was then that she realized that Eli meant more than Eli meant when he said, it only matters what Eli thinks of her. Eli did not want her to worry anymore about what the other women thought. As she, as she thought this through, she stood up to head back to the village, and what do you know? One of the dots fell off. Please join us in singing We Are Designed by God.
Let us pray. Loving Father, thank you for the many beautiful colors and languages of the world and for making all your children unique. Thank you for creating us in your image. Thank you for loving us and making us wonderful. Help us to love like you. Help us to share your love with all the children you have made, for they are unique and wonderful. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Goodbye, church.